Now let us solve problem number two. So we have to find V sub x using source transformation given the circuit. Um, yung circuit na to meron tayong dependent source point 25 V sub x. We can uh, use also source transformation para simplify itong uh, current dependent source na parallel kay 4 ohm resistor into a voltage dependent source na series kay 4 ohm resistor. Pwede natin pagsabayin, pagsabayin na isimplify itong part na to at saka itong 6 parallel kay, ay I mean 6 series kay 2 ohm resistor. So, redraw natin yung circuit. Mm -hmm. So, let's say ito, ito yung mga isimplify natin. So, ito, let's say 1, 2. Okay. So, 6 times 2, ay 6 divided by 2 for the current source uh, ng 6 kay 2. So, i is equal to 6 over 2. So, that is 3 ampere. So, lalagay natin dito i, 3 ampere source. Again, tingnan mo yung uh, positive terminal. Doon dapat naka direct yung ating current source na 3 ampere. Ayan. And then, ipaparadil lang natin yung 2 ohm resistor sa kanya. And then, redraw 2 ohm resistor with the unknown voltage drop V sub x. Dito naman, yung 4. So, V is equal to 4 times 0.25 V sub x. So, that is V equals V sub x. And then, is a series natin yung 4 ohm resistor and withdraw yung dependent current source into full dependent voltage source. Ayan. Sunod yung direction ng positive terminal to sa arrow. So, positive, negative, V sub x. And then, last yung ating 18 volt source. So, negative 18 volt source. Ayan. So, Review lang natin. Kinonvert natin yung voltage di current, de current dependent source, 0.25 V sub X, to voltage dependent source, V sub X. And then, niretain yung 4 ohm resistor in series. Dito sa dependent voltage source. Dito naman sa kabilang side, yung 6 voltage source na series kay ito ginawang current source. 3 ampere, 6 times, 6 divided by 2, so 3, tapos niretain yung, or nilagay in parallel yung resistance to ohms. Tapos nandun pa rin yung V sub X natin. So, ang importante, habang nagtatransform, wag isasamang itatransform yung element na kung saan nandun yung unknown. It's either yung current or yung voltage drop across dun sa resistor. Pwede natin i-combine itong dalawang to. Okay. Actually, pwede naman. Pwede natin i-combine since they are parallel. So, pwede natin gamitin yung R equivalent. So, that is 2 times 2 over 2 plus 2. So, equals 1. Tapos, magkakaroon tayo ng open circuit V sub X na redraw muna natin para magets nyo yung sinasabi ko so meron kang 4 dito and then nandun yung positive negative P sub X source yan so ito ginawa natin 1 okay and then nandun pa rin yung 3 ampere source Ayan. After this, i-convert natin yung 3 ampere source into voltage source. So, 3 times 1. So, 3 pa rin. Okay, so natin. Oh, yeah. So, that is positive-negative. 
3 volts, i-series yung 1. Mas magkat na kulay. Oops. Ayan. Tapos 1 ohm, i-series yung. Isunod si 4. At saka yung source natin. Dependent voltage source, P sub X. And then yung 18 volts. Ayan. Okay, nasan ngayon yung V sub X? V sub X is the open circuit voltage dito sa part na to. Between 1 and uh, 4 ohm resistor. Ayan. So, kinumbine natin yung dalawang 2 ohm resistor. That is equivalent to 1. And then we simplify yung ating 3 ampere current source na parallel yung 1 ohm resistor to a voltage source 3 volts series k1 and then retain yung ibang element ng circuit ngayon yung v sub x will be a open circuit voltage dito sa part na to so pwede yung gawin yun if ever na hindi gustong gumamit ng open circuit voltage v sub x pwede yung pang simplify itong part na to so 3 to 2 tapos magsisiris ka ng 2 ampere dun sa voltage source. And then, ano pa? Pwede ka nang gumamit ng kahit anong network theorems. As long as mas mapapadaling makuha yung voltage trap kay a 2 ohm resistor. So, ako pwede na tayong mag ano dito, mag mesh analysis. So, 1, 2, ayan, tapos Let's say, wait na, doon muna sa buo. Mag KBL muna tayo doon sa buo. Sa buong. Okay. So, KBL tayo dito sa part na to. Ayan, let's say 1. So, KBL at loop 1. KBL at 1. Ang current natin ay I. Ayan. So, negative 3 minus, add na natin yung 4 at saka 1 of the sister. So, plus... 5i minus wait okay. minus v sub or plus v sub x plus 18 equals 0 ok 3 3 5i plus V sub X. So, or pwede rin naman KVL tayo dito sa part na to. KVL 2. Ayan. KVL at loop 2. Same pa rin. Current I pa rin tayo. So, that is negative 3 plus 1 I okay, plus V sub X equals 0. So, negative 3 plus i plus v sub x equals 0. Actually, pwede na natin gamit yung equation 1 and equation 2 para makuha si v sub x. Pero, papakita ko pa rin yung isa pang equation. KVL at loop 3. If in case na gamitin nyo tong isa pang loop ng KVL. Yan. So, negative V sub X plus 4I plus V sub X plus 18 equals 0. Ayan. So, Meron kang 3 equations to unknown. So, either dito sa combination ng 2 equations, let's say equation, pwede mong equate yung equation 1 kay 2 or 2 and 3 or 1 and 3. Kasi sobra yung equation na yun. So, pwede mong kaya mo lang is at least 2 equations to get i and v sub x. Ang unknown lang naman is v sub x. So, you can use 1 and 2 equation or 2 to 3 or kaya 3 to 1. Okay. Rewrite natin yung mga equations natin. Okay. 
Okay, we write natin. Negative 3 plus 5i plus v sub x plus 18 equals 0. So, pwede yung 15. 15. Okay. 5i plus v sub x plus 15 equals 0. Or 5i plus v sub x equals negative 15. So, pwede equation 1. Equation 1. Then, yung pangalawa, um, i plus v sub x is equal to 3. Equation 2. And then, part low, negative to negative v sub x. Oh, oh, so, negative v sub x plus v sub x. So, negative v sub x plus 4i plus v sub x plus 18 equals 0. So, cancel out to 4i is equal to negative 18. And 4i is equal to negative 18. And this stop. So, 18 over Negative 4.5 ampere. So, the negative 4.5 4.5 ampere si I. Hmm. Pwede natin i-substitute kay 2. Mas madali. Diba? Substitute natin kay 2. So, I is equal to I plus V sub x is equal to 3. So, V sub x is equal to 3 minus i. Since i is equal to negative 4.5 ampere, V sub x is equal to 3 minus negative 4.5. So, V sub x is equal to 7.5 volts. Ayan na. Yan na yung sagot na the 4. Problem 2. Now it's your turn, so try to solve problem 1 and 2 using source transformation. Uh, solution or answer, yung solution nyo dito is to be uploaded sa ating assignment post sa ating pins.